Welcome out, everybody. Tonight, the essential oil topic is Arbor Vitae. It's, that's how it's pronounced. Yes. It's, it, it, it's hard to spell for those of you who are listening. It's A-R-B-O-R-V-I-T-A-E. So I thought it was a weird spelling. Anyways, a wonderful, wonderful oil. I have some in my hand. It smells, um, it's a wood oil. Um, and Jade Holder um, is going to tell us all about this. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like um, walking through an ancient forest. You know, mm. forest that's been around for a long time and it just has that very powerful smell. Woodsy. Mm -hmm. uh, Arbor Vitae is like a cedar-like tree, cypress-like tree in Canada. And um, they are sourcing, doTERRA is sourcing this in a very sustainable way. So they're using a lot, they're clearing out the um, the forest floors basically and um, they're just reusing the uh, chips the wood chips and making very very pure essential oils from it and these oils um, protect these trees so well that some of them um, you know even if they're 800 years old they can still um, you know, not have any signs of bug or decay um, the trees that have fallen over, you know, possibly 400 years old, still have, you know, still look like they're freshly fallen. So it's amazing oil. So Dr. Hill, when, I remember when they took her first um, offered um, Arbor Vitae, Dr. Hill described um, why that would be. You know, a tree that falls down and doesn't really decay, it actually lasts a long time. Mm -hmm. um, chemical the main constituents in Arbor Vitae, um, they have like a, a carbon ring, right? And carbon rings usually have like five um, carbons on it. Yeah. And this one has six, so seven. it's a little bit, or seven, okay. Yeah. This one has a bit of a different um, chemical structure. Yeah. And so it's not as broken down as easier. And adding Arbor Vitae to uh, any of your other blends will help it stick around longer and help yes. you know it's more powerful so um you know we have uh, bugs that are adapting uh, and abivite is so powerful that um you know they haven't seen anything like this so the bugs have no chance mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah very powerful against environmental threats and we really mean that very powerful um, so you can mix it with oregano and melaleuca and apply it topically uh, to wherever you need it. You know, I, I heard a guy say, wherever you can point to, <laughs> you can put on. <laughs> so, yeah. So here's the main uses that, that Dave's written down here. It's very powerful against environmental threats. Mm -hmm. So to boost your immunity system. Um, you mix it with oregano, melaleuca, and apply it topically for your immune support. Um, it's a bug repellent and emotional, uh, emotionally allowing grace into your life. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we have a really cool video here to show you guys. It's very special. Yeah. Okay. So, right. Tara showed this video when the oil first came out. And, uh -huh. You know, it's it's a good one to see kind of the really cool. the uh, what do you call it the history mm -hmm. of essential oil. So. The native uh, Canadian. They use it for their spiritual. So, for those of you that are listening to this, it's a Native American Indian. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. My traditional name is Sutmasito. I come from Staelis. It's um, an honor for me to be here. Can you guys hear that okay? I just wanted to explain what the cedar tree means to us and uh, how that good? it's so important to us in our, our way of life. Kape is the name of our ancestor, and he was always giving of himself. So if he seen that um, somebody was struggling with a basket of salmon, he would help that person pack that salmon into the longhouse. Uh, if there was an elderly person that was walking, you know, he would uh, help that person get to where he or she was going. And so he lived his entire life in this way, giving of himself. You know, traditionally, we never buried our loved ones. We, we would actually build a, a platform up high in a tree uh, as an offering to the creator. But it all changed 
one day and it had to do with Kopei. The families actually were instructed to bury their loved one. Read this um, on the screen. It says, "From this tree, uh, so that if, from the boughs they will brush away illness and sadness." And, uh, those of you who are listening, can't read that. So. Yeah, my name is Nathan Jans, and uh, I am an owner of the only distillery in the world that is producing giant arbutus oil. And this oil is really special because it is sustainably sourced from the giant arbutus tree that exists in the timber rainforest of Pacific Northwest. We tie into an existing industry, the timber industry that's been here for decades and decades, and are part of a highly managed and sustainable timber industry. We source our raw material from the timber companies that are producing wood products, uh, shake and shingles, structural timber, finishing lumber, and we take that sawdust, the waste product that uh, they used to burn, in previous decades, and we extract these valuable, unique, and essential oil chemicals out of the waste biomass from them. We pay very special attention to the detail uh, of the whole process, right from the sourcing of the sawdust, um, through its handling in our yard, where it's all covered and kept out of the elements, to the treating of it, pure water to steam distill it, straight through our process vessels and uh, collect the oil, separate that out of the water, the waste sawdust from the process, uh, we then load into a bin that gets brought back to uh, paper mills. For a wood oil, it's, it's amazing it's high ester content, which you don't see in any other wood oils. So there's a lot of unique properties with it, and the odor is unlike anything else that you'll see. Arborvitae literally means the tree of life. Part of the reason probably for that uh, name coming to be is because the tree lives such a long time. Some of the trees still alive right now, are over 800 years old. The bugs do not bother the tree because the, the wood stays intact, it doesn't get attacked by termites or other insects. So obviously the, the oil is going to have huge potential for outdoor blends and things of that nature. We're very excited to be working with doTERRA in the bringing of giant arborvitae oil to uh, the markets and we have a lot of respect for the team that is uh, moving doTERRA forward and their attention to detail and their focus on quality. We've gone to a lot of trouble of having a top-notch plant that is producing the finest quality essential oil and we working with else. In my language, we say shuli. Shuli is that life force, that spirit in, in us that, that makes us who we are. And um, that spirit, that shuli, lives on, um, you know, in the form of the tree. There you have it, everybody. You know everything there is to know now. <laughs> <laughs> Abervite. Abervite. Yep. So, so I, I think it's work. very uh, um, profound, you know, that, you know, not only the great things they say about Abervite oil and, um, you know, the benefits it have about longevity. That's pretty cool. You know, the trees are 800 years old, but also the way that the terrace, um, harvesting it in a sustainable mm -hmm. way and they reuse the products for paper and everything. Mm -hmm. So I always thought that was cool. Well, I like to buy up on my type paper. It's <laughs> 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 <Right. laughs> <laughs> a nice smelling paper. Yes. Yeah. Um, so maybe before we go on, yeah. does anybody have like any special use ways that they use their Arbor Vitae? Um. I, I remember Sherry Odom, she's on my team, and I remember that her son got a cut on his finger one time, and he had tried a couple other things to help heal that up, like like on the tip of his finger, and when they used Arbor Vitae, it, she was just blown away at how quickly it healed. 
I, I always remember that story and that's been a few years, but. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, one of the main reasons why we use uh, Abite. And that's actually that's the really first good, reason Debbie. that we're going to talk Yay. about. Yay. Very good. Anybody else anyway. want to share anything about the way that they use Arbor Vitae? I mixed it with a couple of other oils for allergies and it actually helped. Um, there was basil and something else that helped right here on my sinuses, like on my nose. But um, when I put it with the abortivitae, abortivitae, when I put it um, with those other oils on the tips of my toes, it was so much better. It was so, it was noticeably different. Like I felt relief before, but when I mixed that in, because um, I got the book out and was looking, um, it was just such a stronger change that like I finally felt, you know, better for a longer time. So um, that's the only experience I have with it. I don't know mm. any other use really. <laughs> that's perfect, Stacy, because you put it on your skin and um, you use it for respiratory. So those are the reasons that we put down here too. Yeah. Um, I, I've used it. Maybe I, I mean, it works for me, but you know, wood oils are very good for grounding and for calming down. So like cedar wood or, um, you know, the balance blend has a lot of your wood oils in it. So that's calming. That's what I have used it for in the past. So that's my usage. <laughs> so I was just a few people saying that they're coming. So anyways, I am going to start with the body um, and the uses of um, Abu Vitae. Okay, so like Debbie Westcott said, skin. Okay, so put a few drops in a spray bottle um, and you know, you can mix it with a few other oils. Like I said, Melaleuca is my favorite um, and um, maybe On Guard, okay? But uh, it'll help clean the skin. Um, so, you know, it's sort of for your, your cleaner for when you have um, like a skin abrasions. Okay, so for the sun, because they said that Abu Vitae has, um, is high in ester, it's is very calming to the skin. Uh, so you can actually use it um, with helichrysum and lavender after some sun exposure. Uh, I would dilute it so that it stays on the skin longer. Um, and sometimes we don't need it that concentrated. Okay, so it's really awesome for that. So oh, it's kind of like a extension of skin mm -hmm. yep yep so that yeah sun there uh-huh um bug repellent so wonderful of course you can just use a spritzer bottle um diffuse it in the air apply it to your wrists and ankles if you're hiking and going out um it was amazing mm -hmm. what he said about the arbor vitae vitae arbor vitae it's We've always been saying arbor vitae. Yeah, now it's the arbor vitae uh, tree, um, how it's bug resistant. Mm -hmm. You know, I always think of like cedar wood. Mm -hmm. That's one of those bug resistant kind of woods. Mm -hmm. um, people always make like chests and stuff out cedar of chest. cedar wood um, or closets to keep the bugs and moths out. Mm -hmm. So this would probably be another one of those mm -hmm. where they type, types of woods. So I have a plan. When we build our house, I'm going to put, you know, several um, <laughs> bottles of arbor vitae and cedar wood, and I'll just spray every um, layer. We'll of just the, build everything yeah. out of arbor vitae. <laughs> 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 no termites on my house. <laughs> yeah. So that leads us to the next one, which is wood polish. So about four drops of arbor vitae um, and two drops of lemon uh, for a natural wood preserve and polish yep okay so that's good that's why i thought mm. so would you mix that with like an olive oil or another oil to put on wood i'm not sure um so that's what doTERRA suggested i haven't done that yet but i think that is okay. a good idea yeah my my dad builds these beautiful boxes like jewelry boxes i put my oils in them but Ooh. he um uses different oils but he uses cedar wood in there i'm going to tell him to use arbor vitae Ooh. he uses them to preserve and polish these wood boxes that he makes they're gorgeous 
Um, oh. Yeah, because I know that, you know, like playgrounds made from wood, after they put it in, you've got, you've got a couple of minutes and then, I mean minutes, a couple of days and then it's filled with um, these, oh, uh, yeah, nuts. yeah. Uh, just caterpillars and things all over it. Um, anyways, interesting. it's really, really good. That, that is a good question. I don't know what they use mm -hmm. for it. I have seen other um, essential oils um, recommended to use for, like it has lemon hair. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've made a dusting, like a dusting solution with olive oil and I think it's vinegar and lemon oil. So I'm guessing that you could just add the Arbor Vitae to that and it would be just as good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so for seasonal support. Even though it's not, it's not a body one, I was thinking of, this is one of those really great non-therapeutic uses. Oh yeah, the wood? Oil. Yeah, oh, the yeah, wood. It's, it's like uh, cleaning your chrome off your car, the car <laughs> battery um, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Luca or something. It, it's fine in this category. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yep, so Stacy mentioned for seasonal support, it's awesome. You can rub it on topically, you can smell it and, or put it on your, the bottom of your feet. Yeah, and we, when we talk about seasonal support, we talk about it means boosting your immune system, mm -hmm. help protect yourself against um, microscopic threats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've got lemon lavender peppermint uh, to help with the seasonal support, but then also you can use the Arbor Vitae. So that's a really good option um, because it's calming. It's amazing because it smells like this Christmas tree almost, but yet yeah, it's very calming. Um, so it, the next thing here is it's a powerful purifier cleanser. Um, yeah, I think that is sort of it was sort of repeated here, the skin, the skin. But <laughs> I said it in a different way. Okay, so for all the kids' owies, that's a good oil to use. Um, and the next thing here is for immunity. I think last week we did oregano. Um, and abivite is one of the ingredients in here and you don't need so much. So they did an experiment where they used abivite with, um, against uh, like staph infections um, on a Petri dish. And um, so they needed less uh, of upper vitae compared to oregano, even though oregano was one of the most popular oils for that. Uh, but upper vitae did the job really well and with less um, oil. Yeah. So less drops. Okay. Sometimes less is better, guys. Um, just put uh, one drop, dilute it, and use it, and see how it works. Also, today I was talking about talking to a guy about um, essential oils and his experience with it, and he he had once been told, you know, to take oregano for, um, you know, to clear up his immune system. He put a couple of drops on on his tongue, and and about burned him out. Some yeah. Of that burned, but that, <laughs> that that was enough to turn him off. So, um, you know, when people are they don't like an oil or, or something's going to be too strong or something. I don't know if I'd recommend taking Arbor Vitae um, no, you internally. Shouldn't. You shouldn't take it internally. Um, it's one of those ones that works really well topically. Yeah. So that's, you know, you can apply that to the bottom of your foot. For, yeah. It's, so like it, it's sort of like something. winter green. Don't take it internally. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Anyone want to share and say anything? Because that's it for the body. A respiratory. Oh, yes. She's trying to cheat you out, people. <laughs> she had one more thing here. No, I, She's holding I had, out. I said it in my head. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Stacey earlier, yeah, you do it for respiratory and seasonal. She was just breathing in the background. <laughs> I just couldn't hear. Like, <laughs> okay, on the bottom of your feet and inhale, smell it, put it in your diffuser. Great for respiratory. So that'd be a good one, like uh, when you're overcoming a, a cold or something, mm -hmm. or you've run out of breath, or yeah. or something like that. So something it'll... that you want to just rum all over because it's so hot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any anybody else? Yep. Um, 
I was just wondering for the skin, when I read the second time for the powerful cleansing agent, I didn't know. I for some reason I took that as you could spray it on your face like when cleaning, but would that be bad? Like somebody that had like skin issues on their face? At me? Sort of like, um yeah, a breakouts. I would be mm -hmm. very, very diluted. Okay. I did it on my skin a few times when you have those big guys that you're like, where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Don't Die. be on Jade's bad side, people. <laughs> Die, you zip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, anything else before um, therapeutic uses for our yeah. beauty on your body? So I'll, I'll just <clears throat> stick with the skin for a second here. So our, our daughter, she has little bumps on her skin. Okay, and that um, is from the gut. So we put the oils on her feet. Um, to cleanse the gut, then I dilute it and rub it on that area too. Um, and if she does it very consistently, it um, helps clear the skin up. But it helps, you know, with her gut because she she's one she's the most um, I think anxious person in our family. <laughs> so to sum it all up, it's skin, it's immunity, boosting your immunity, and it's helps keep bugs away yeah those are the three main thing three main takeaways here if you, if you only got space for three things in your mind tonight those are the three <laughs> you want to pigeonhole in there yep <laughs> i'm really proud of ben because he, he joined me just recently and don't care and he knows <laughs> I can, so much i can now. sum things up <laughs> yeah all right yes all right let's do the mind let's get into your mind people yes okay it's because I said earlier, it has a very high level of esters, and esters are very calming. And so maybe relaxed. you could explain for all those people in the, that are listening that don't know what esters are. This is not in reference to the girl in the Bible. Oh, no. It's esters. a chemical constituent in um, <laughs> essential oils. We actually have um, a post on that that we put in properties. So there are different kinds of... Um, compounds essential oil compounds in your essential oils and um I'll, I'll just bring this up for you guys to see um so they can be grouped into areas and um the the oh, a science team at doTERRA has done a lot of um study and grouping these into what what type of compound uh, creates what type of results so you have your alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, oxide, esters, sesquinterpins, monoterpins. I'm not going to show you the rest because That's they're it. longer than 24 letters and it just boggles <laughs> the mind. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so they find that these, these oils that have a high, like arborvitae, it's going to have lots of different constituents in it, lots of different compounds in it but it's gonna have a, a, a lot of esters. And so those are gonna be your calming oils. So you have like lavender and stuff in, in these types of oils. So um, yeah, this this will, you can download this on uh, doTERRA. I was gonna say Google. <laughs> you can find anything on Google. <laughs> but um, yeah, and you can find what, Kind of say so we have esters, uh, which is a sesquinterpin. That, those are just the technical names. Just nod and say yes, I understand. <laughs> um, and you know it's going to have those have those properties. So this this really helps people that are just brand new to essential oils, and they think, oh, it's just a bunch of snake water or snake oil. Snake oil. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of um, science behind it. Um, in fact. We know more about how essential oils work compared to some drugs that are popularly used on the market. You hear doctors and pharmacists say, we don't know how it works. You just put it in the body and it works. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, so under esters, we have uh, clary sage, lavender, um, more on the calming side. Um, and then it goes to jasmine, helichrysum, and alba vitae, wintergreen birch, Cut it's have more of a renewing effect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. very, very interesting. Yeah, Back to so it's calming, but then it's balancing at the same time. And part of it, because it's calming you, it uplifts your heart. Okay. 
So the uh, arbor vitae. <laughs> Let's have a vote. Should we say arbor vitae or arbor vitae? I'm just going to follow that and Canadian <laughs> guy. <laughs> just because a Canadian said it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm what sorry. does Google say? For oh, oh, All Canadians. the Canadians will hate you now. <laughs> like, hang on. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I say sorry in Canadian. <laughs> I'm not going to try. <laughs> okay, it's the oil of divine grace. Right, so beautiful. It is exactly that. So the negative um, emotions that it shifts out is willfulness, struggling, excessive effort, distrust, rigid, fearful, and need to control. Um, so I think we have people that are really, really passive, um, and then people that are really, really, um, I guess, willful and, and self-reliant, overly self-reliant. Um, so this oil kind of helps balance it up a little bit so that you, you let go a little bit and make room for miracles, okay? We, we get stressed and worried, and then we stop um, sharing the energy to the rest of our body, and of course, the rest of our body suffers, um, and our body holds on and waits till we can relax. And of course, those people that have that kind of um, emotion, they experience constipation, a lot of constipation, so because we're not allowing things to flow freely. Okay. Welcome, Debbie. We're talking about poop right now. <laughs> flow, it's flow, inevitable. Flow. <laughs> have a discussion with Jade, it always ends up there. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyways, you know, it's sort of the sympathetic sta state where um, the heart races too fast and causes the blood pressure to go higher, um, and but it stops uh, the digestion. Cheryl. Hello, <laughs> hello, cousin. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I just have to say hello to this lovely lady. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi. Hello, Cheryl. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you're interrupting. I had to say hi to my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's mine. That's as you <laughs> There was one for each of you. Okay, one for <laughs> Sorry, Jane. I took a while. That's awesome. So you got that? It helps balance. Okay. Um, the positive emotion is for peace, surrender, grounding, allowing, relaxed, grace-filled, effortless living, and trust in divine grace. Okay. Mm. Yeah. When we're so it's, an, it's mm -hmm. the opposite of um, distrust and being rigid and fearful and needing control. Mm -hmm. I find yeah. a lot of people that um, have feel a need to control is you know they, they lack faith. Yeah. So when we have those negative feelings, it just reminds us that we're on the fear side, and we need to shift and move over to the faith side um, and develop more trust. So make room for miracles. That's the oil. So there's two things mm -hmm. you can do here, people. You can go to Canada and walk around the forest, or you can get yourself a bottle of Arbor Vitae. <laughs> <house. laughs> Your choice. Really difficult choice. <laughs> mm. Hello, Marissa. Hi. It's like drinking tree. No, we don't <laughs> drink this oil, though. Yep. <laughs> no, don't. Okay, so stick it in your diffuser, guys. I think especially the Aussies listening, um, it's winter time for you, so it's a good oil to put in your diffuser, um, you know, in this during this season. Okay, yep, to help everybody have a higher immune system, stronger immune system. Right. Anyone want to say anything else about the mind and Arbor Vitae? I, I just want to. Sorry, um, I just wanted to say something about relaxing. Um, and stress management. Um, Arbor Vitae, like I mentioned before, um, kind of like balance oil, it'll help calm your, and a lot of wood oils have this quality where they help calm and ground yourself. Um, they'll, they'll help, um, you know, when, you're, when you are stressed, and it could be from anything, it could be from, you know, an angry monster about to bite your head off, or just your boss is getting mad at you because, you did not do 
so well at your job or whatever, or, you know, maybe your, your kid or I don't know, whatever. It could be very serious or very unserious, but yeah. stress response is the same. And, you know, our body kicks in this thing called fight or flight, and that's uh, the sympathetic nervous system. It's an automatic nervous system. Our body just kicks it in. Our muscles are all tight and our blood pressure rises and everything. And that's what stress is. Um, so this Arbor Vitae, um, like some of the other um, calming oils, will help to balance and re, um, like turn off the sympathetic nervous system and switch back on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is, you know, normal um, digestion goes back to normal and all those, your muscles relax and you're able to, um, yeah, do all yeah. those things. So that's, that's very interesting. That's very good to know, you know, with the tree oils, it helps. Um, and there's lots of studies, you know, you can read about that, that um, those tree oils help to, um, switch back from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic mm -hmm. nervous no. or balance system. we can't go either way mm -hmm. we need to be incentive so that's really good thank you so, ben. Marissa, did you have something you want to yeah add? i was gonna say i know that i had told stacy a, a couple weeks ago but i have a really kind of weird blend that i use of oils for my deodorant but arba vita is one of the ones that i put in my deodorant blend nice so, i like that that's really good yeah, it's um, you know, helps you emotionally too. And we were saying earlier, yeah, um, very like physical and emotional mix. <laughs> when the when doTERRA first came out with Arbor Vitae, which was not too long ago, um, Dr. Hill said mixing it with any of the other blends helps it stay on longer. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't flash off as mm -hmm. it, so it's a perfect one to put in deodorants or um, colognes mm -hmm. because the typical um, length of time that our body takes to um metabolize the essential oils is four to six hours so you can extend that a little bit um with a repeat uh, an oil like a repeat okay. it's going to help things stick around longer that's cool totally forgot about that that's really good Ben. thank you uh, yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> Okay, so that's the mind. Anybody help, have anything okay. else um, they want to add with the mind or those of you who have joined us um, just recently on our call tonight. Any other, um, we talked about how Arbor Vitae or Arbor Vitae, we're still up in the air. I say <laughs> put it for a vote. Arbor Vitae, Vitae. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> um, we talked about um, it being good for the skin, for mm -hmm. keeping the bugs away, and for immunity. Those are the basic yeah. three things. Mm -hmm. Any other uses of Arbor Vitae? I've had really great results with that hand, foot, and mouth stuff. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I put it in the hand, foot, and mouth mix. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Fine mm -hmm. yeah. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. That's really good. Yeah. yeah, so the mind, for those who are highly, I guess, high achievers, you know, um, Arba Vitae will help you so that you don't feel like you need to um, do it all on your own. You can allow divine help. And it's, you know, I had a girl um, that I was helping with um, money blocks. And she said that one of the things that her family taught her was work hard, work hard for money. And so in her mind, I mean, when you, if you want more money, you work harder. And so she's always working till one o'clock in the morning. And uh, I say, well, you know what? That's not balanced, is it? Isn't it? Sometimes we wound, wind ourselves up so much that we don't even realize that we're so wound up. Um, and it's just smelling uh, the white yeah. tape will help just, you know, calm you down, relax you, and then help you balance. So I said, why don't we say I work smarter and I relax? I allow myself time to relax. Um, and so, yeah. And that's what so she stop, That's why she stops herself from succeeding. Because, well, if she wants to grow even bigger and more successful than this, or that she is already, um, then that must mean more work, more pain, more suffering. <laughs> and I thought, wow, I don't think God wanted that for any of His children. Yeah. So relax, people. Yeah. Relax. But um, <laughs> it says here, ease, ease. Okay. So that's what it's about. Mm. Okay, so for those who have a really hard time trusting and letting go and relaxing, um, 
you know, I know that I was one of them because I felt like I had to do any, everything and everything was my responsibility. Otherwise the house and the, the whole sky will fall down. Um, but, you know, learning how to heal energetically. Are you going to say something? <laughs> As you said, the, the, the sky did not fall down. Just no. if you wanted to know how that one turned yeah. out. Yeah. Chicken, <laughs> Chicken Little got this, this story <laughs> correct. Okay. Um, so think about the... The Arbor Vitae tree. It's, <laughs> What's the switch between the Arbor Vitae yeah, and Arbor just, Vitae? We'll kill everybody today. Um, <laughs> everyone's like, ah, oh, frustrating. So the tree is giant. You know, it's huge. So in your mind, imagine yourself, you know, being big, right? Uh, we always play small. Um, so allow yourself to dream big. Do more and um, have more effect and influence in the world. But it doesn't necessarily mean... Um, you do it all on your own. Okay, I love that uh, analogy because I always look at the plant. So that some of the plants, uh, the oils that we don't have emotions for, that's what I do. I muscle test it and I look at what the plant looks like and what its characteristic is like. So this is a giant tree, very strong, very sturdy, repels all the bugs and rubbish. You know, I stand up tall and on my own. Um, that is you know another indicator for me to know um, what the oils can do for me okay so with god i'm strong that's that's the idea and i'm you know big and tall uh so trusting in the divine so you can rub vite over your heart and on the heart reflex okay just to help calm things down inside you're going to repeat some positive affirmations um so you can say something like i surrender fully to the divine I allow myself to easily um, be guided and led and I accept and choose peace and relaxation. Right. That's, um, you know, anybody else have anything else? You know, um, any other ideas? Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Excellent. So again, it's about letting go of willfulness, rigid, um, because we, we rely on, our own limited understanding and it doesn't get us very far so it doesn't help us you know become giants uh, and um, with God you know Abhavite helps us and I really like the Latin meaning of Abhavite and it means to sacrifice so you sacrifice your will uh, and stop resisting basically um, and it's exactly what I do every time I feel, submit. Yeah, submit uh, every time I feel very fearful uh, when I'm you know, doing something that's outside my comfort zone. Um, I think to myself, okay, burn jades, pride on the altar. You know, it's not about me. Don't worry about what people think of me. Um, and this really helps when I tell myself that. Okay, so this is another reminder, another way to be strong and a wrong more influence. It's actually a perfect oil for me this week um, because I was kind of sort of thrown out there and, um, you know, to have my story out there and, and allow the, the world to read it. <laughs> so it helps <laughs> me be strong and allow my influence to reach further. Okay, guys, anything else you want to say? That's it for our Vita, I think. Unless anybody else wants to add anything. If anyone missed that video, I thought that that was pretty um, neat to like to visualize and see. So if they're listening to it, they might want to go to the link after at some point and watch that. Um, yeah, so if you go to Arbor Vitae on doTERRA, um, we've put it here for your convenience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember doTERRA sharing that. I th I've always found it really help really nice to learn about the background of the product, like where we see the guys in the, um, making the Douglas fir or the bergamot or some of the things, you know, learn about where the oils come from. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, yeah, more connected yeah. with it. Yeah, because, you know, if you guys have an Itobi scanner, um, sometimes we have cedar wood from Hawaii and cedar wood from India come up. And, you know, you think to yourself, isn't it the same? It's just cedar wood. But because of where it's come from, it has slightly different um, emotional and physical um, responses or 
characteristics. Mm, like the sandalwood. Sandalwood. Yeah, I meant sandalwood, sorry. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's what you meant. Sandalwood, Hawaiian sandalwood. Sandalwood. Wow. Indian you know more about seaweed than I do. <laughs> Just check and see if you attention. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will go ahead and wrap up this portion of the call. Yep. Um, we're going to talk about energy balancing with faith in just a second yep. when we get back. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank we'll you. say hello, good, hello, and goodbye to our listeners. <laughs> we can say aloha. I, I understand that means help, both hello and goodbye. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay.